Hey guys, <clears throat> and welcome back to Resident Evil. It's been a good few days since I last played this. Uh, like, five days, I think. Um, well, actually, more like four, but... If I remember correctly, we had to go fight Yawn. And... We had one more door in the mansion to clear. So... Let's get on with that, shall we? Hopefully we can avoid the hunters on the way. Because we really don't want to fight the hunters if we can help it. Um, Yawn, well... I'm in two minds about Yawn. Uh, I'm very tempted to try and take out Yawn with the handgun. Because the truth is, as you know... Uh, as long as you keep moving and, you know, only take a couple of shots here and there. He's, like, really not that hard. Uh, it's a lot easier the second time you face him to avoid him. Um, <laughs> I don't know how many bullets he's going to take on this difficulty, but I don't know. Uh, just something that I'm thinking about. Uh, we also have to do a few other little bits on the west wing, which, uh, I mean, I guess we could go do those now. We did take that hunter out this side. Um, definitely feeling uh, quite a bit better now, uh, apart from the fact that I've got like a really crazy sore throat and still very tired. Definitely better. Now, I do have a humongous uh, bottle, bottle? <laughs> I wish, um, jug of coffee here. Well, it might as well be a jug. Uh, oh, I've gone in the wrong door, haven't I? Well, yes, I have gone in the wrong door. This is a really weird uh, place here. <laughs> Camera angle there, really gets you turned around. Um, I have downloaded Resident Evil 7. No, that's a lie. I've downloaded Resident Evil Zero uh, on the PC. I'm going to go through that again, I think. Um, I'm also going to play uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica. Because uh, one of my friends... I, You know, I haven't been in the Discord for ages. I've just been sleeping. But, well, I say ages, like three days now. Which is three days too too long. But, um, yeah, one of my friends in there is playing... Oh, hey, sir. Oh, shit. What did I forget to do, guys? What did I forget to do? Um, I forgot... Pick up the gems. <clears throat> well, that's a kick in the knickers, isn't it? Alright, well, we'll leave that zombie there for now. Let's... Oh, it's interesting that there's zombies there, not hunters. This is just testing. This is just for science. For science. For science, for science. They don't take, that's the thing, they don't take a huge amount of bullets to kill. They really don't. Come on. Yeah, they really don't take uh, many bullets to kill at all. Um... A little bit salty that I had to kill those guys at all, to be honest. Uh, I <laughs> I did fully expect that to go bad, which is why um, I even bothered, to be honest. But it is what it is, I guess. Right, uh, we'll have that. We've got a lot of shotgun shells, because we've also got... Um... Wow, actually, guys... Yeah, we do have a lot of shotgun shells. Did we leave the blue gem? Or the red gem in the other box? We may have done that. Let's go check a minute. <laughs> One second. I'm going to go all the way back and check. 
No, we've not actually forgotten anything. So I've just come back here. Uh, <laughs> for the hell of it. <sighs> Such is life. Okay, so we're back. All right, another thing that I've been uh, wanting to do um, is possibly change up my editing software because uh, all this time that I've been sick, I've been watching uh, a couple of friends <coughs> play uh, lots of games. And one of them, uh, H, highlighter, uh, a good friend of mine actually. Ooh, yes, forgot about him. Um, has actually been fast forwarding footage and stuff. Now, I like the idea of that. How the fuck are we going to get around him? I like the... Oh, dear. Dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. But... It's actually, like, a huge... Pain in the ass. Yeah. Actually, I don't mind you grabbing me. I really don't mind you grabbing me. To be honest. Right, that's two stabs. In the brain. Uh, well, this added a little bit of in intensity that I had totally forgotten about. Totally forgotten about that. <laughs> um, hmm, not happy that I used two knives there, but at the same time, we didn't get hit. So. Yeah, so uh, he actually fast forwards a lot of footage uh, if he gets stuck. I've just watched him play uh, Manhunt. It's taken me like quite a while to watch that actually. Um, and uh, just started watching a few videos of sanitarium as well. Uh, here we go. Oof. Do we dare do the do yawn with no heels and just a handgun? Should we see if it's possible? I mean, is it possible? Yeah, absolutely, it's possible. Um, and I like the idea of fast forwarding footage. But fast forwarding footage on um, Sony Vegas is really rubbish. <laughs> it's not in. Oh god, yeah, I forgot because we can't. Um, <laughs> we we can't easily aim at him either. Right, one shot and move. Because if we can save a lot of our good equipment here, we're gonna be in good shape. Right, okay. That's the way to do it, boys and girls. That's the way to do it. Yeah, Sony Vegas is uh, not that intuitive when it comes to fast forward. Oh, God, the new camera angle. That was the new camera controls really fucking me up there. You see, every time you change camera perspective, it's only certain scenes, not all the time. But it fucks your controls right up. Which is not brilliant, to be honest. Right, give him one shot. Give him another. There we go, that's it. You don't want to get greedy. Now, is this enough bullets to take him out? Probably. Oh, what way is he going? What way is he going? He's turned around, doesn't he? He has turned around. Kind of. We're upsetting his little brain. That's fine. There we go. Because one thing I have um, found out in this game through a few bits of research that I've been doing, um, enemies aren't that strong. They're not strong. But they do a lot of damage. Which is... He's gone the other way now. Come on. Go on. There you go. That's fine. That's fine. Got some good shots on him then. Yeah, the enemies aren't that strong. They just... Um, yeah, the damage output is brutal. Especially when you're playing as Jill. Because Jill's not that strong. One shot, one shot and move. Yes, get fucked. Get fucked, you stupid danger noodle. What you got, Yawny boy? Uh, Jill, could you, like, aim at him, please? 
and I definitely preferred going the other way around. Definitely preferred going the other way around, so if we could go back to that, that would be good. Is three shots too greedy? Maybe. Ooh. Three shots was definitely greedy. Definitely greedy. Nearly paid the price. Fired a shot into the wall there. That was not great. Okay. 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 Yeah. Horrible camera angle hit. Ooh, that hurt him. That hurt him. <laughs> How didn't we get bitten there? <laughs> How did we not get bitten there? I mean, dude, come on. I fucking gift wrapped myself for you. No. No, 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 no. You do not growl at me, mister. No. It's not how it happens, okay? Jill is the one-stop pain train for you, buddy. Ooh. 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 Uh, starting to get a little bit concerned on the ammo, but... Also, I think we're good. Right, not sure where those shots were going. Uh, I could hear meat splashing and juices bubbling, so I'm going to assume that we were actually hitting him. Yes! Kiss my shiny metal ass. Acid shells on this chump, I mean honestly. Why? I've been wondering uh, for a while what to do with this abundance of uh, handgun ammo. Yeah, it'd be a shame to waste it. End of the day, bullets are freaking bullets, yo. Now, obviously we don't have anything too expendable for the zombies, but, uh, we, you know, we've got the shotgun. Um, I, yeah, I mean, I was thinking, uh, I've had a lot of time to think recently, guys. Uh, go figure. I was, uh, pondering to myself just how easy Yawn is in, uh, the remake. Considering how much they buffed, uh, other things, Yawn was never that hard. You know. I mean, come on. You've got to take into consideration as well that we're playing as Jill Valentine. Come on, Jill Valentine versus a fucking snake. Seriously. Uh, anyway, let's go. Now, um, what is going to be more problematic is the Crimson Head. He's a bit of a nasty chap, to be honest. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with him. We're just going to run. Yeah. Oh, that was the fat guy. Uh, the fat guy is also a crimson head now. So basically, what I'm trying to say here, guys, is uh, that corridor is now totally off limits. Having said that, this is a pretty nasty corridor as well, which may now be inhabited. Oh, damn. Yeah, this one's inhabited by hunters now. Yes. But we have the two medals that we need. Which is good. I mean, if we take a hit or two, that's fine. There should be enough health in the lab for what we need. Because this door over here should be smashed in. Um, right, there's actually some stuff down there. Not really sure. Yep, that's a hunter. No, right, okay, that is a hunter, yes, but he takes him a little bit to smash through that door, which is good. I thought that door was already smashed in. All right, now, now, where are we on this whole fuck train, this adventure in the madhouse? We are, uh, well, you know, we're actually in really good bloody shape. Yes, we have not even one magazine left for the handgun, but... Ooh. 
Let's... Alright, we don't have to go to the other item box ever again. Do we? Uh, where are we going now? We're going to go underground. Over. No, we don't. Okay, we're done with the other item box. So let's go get everything out of it if we can. Now again, if my editing software was better, this is something that I would actually fast forward. But here's the thing with um, my editing software. If I go to fast forward something, I actually have to cut a chunk. Uh, the chunk that I want to fast forward out of the video, which is fine. And then you have to shrink and compress it, speed it up. But you can only speed it up to um, a certain point, and then it never matches up correctly with the other piece. And if you want to do slow-mo, which is stuff that I've wanted to do before, you have to stretch um, it out. But if you stretch it out too far, it uh, actually starts adding footage from the other block. It's just, yeah, it's really unintuitive, and it's not great. Um, uh, we don't need the Yellowstone ever again. That's everything. Okay. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm also thinking, uh, and yes, thinking, thinking, using my head meat, about doing a knife run with this game yeah that that was not a typo because uh oh that was not a miss <laughs> miss a mispronunciation my brain's still not working 100 percent um yeah i didn't stutter put it that way i am thinking about doing a knife run with this game because it just makes sense i might try it off camera because there's still a lot of meat left in the bones of this game. Um, right. Because there's that annoying. Because what's pissed me off is they've made the knife run um, an achievement. And I want all the achievements for this game. Uh, I've got most of them, I think. I think there's four left to unlock. Uh... So, yes, we may have to do that. Right, let's get out of here. We're basically done with this place. Um, we need to think very carefully about what to take with us uh, into the underground passage. Um, which in itself is... Well, it's not really a conundrum, is it? Um, I think we are going to take... I don't know. We're not going to take the handgun. Because, I mean, at this point, the handgun is absolutely obsolete. Um, we're going to take the shotgun, I think. Or do we take the magnum, you know? Ooh, we've got 34 shotgun shells there. Let's save the grenade launcher. You know, like, I have been reading up on forums about this mode. And how to surgically, you know, do everything. Blah, blah, blah. Or at least how other people have. And... I have a lot more health items. Because there's no penalty for using F8 sprays in this game. I've got a lot more health items and a lot more ammo. Than some people have ended up with. We kind now we need that in the lab, don't we? Because I mean we've got all of our acid rounds left. We've got six grenade shells. Yeah, we've got 12 Magnum rounds. And look at that, 34 shotgun shells. I think we're good. Health? Uh, we've got a lot of health here. We have, but is it going to be enough? 
Um, <laughs> that I can't tell you. Um, now, do I want to take some... I don't know. If there's a savour of them where we're going. Uh, I don't know. Um, uh, that is a question, actually. Question and a half. Um, there should be. There should be a save ribbon. But is it there on this mode? Uh, I, that, that, that's... Uh, I can't answer that. I don't know. We'll take the shotgun because we can abandon that. That gives us one extra shell. That gives us one extra shell. That gives us 35 shells. And then uh, when we get to the next item... Oh, fuck me. Because here's the thing, right? Yeah. Should I just save it now? But we're on 21 minutes. Do I save it now? And risk it? Yeah, fuck it. Save it now. Uh, yeah. I, mm, oh, God. There is no right or wrong answer. Oh. You know, this feels like playing Resident Evil again for the first time. And <laughs> that's really fun. But we've got four. We're definitely going to find some more in the lab. The thing is, we really don't have that much game left. Um, now, do we want to save Barry? And do we want to save Chris? Now, it's easier not to. But, you know, if something's generally easy, is it worth doing? Oh, yeah, we need the stone and metal object, don't we? Um, hmm. I don't think I'd ever be satisfied if I completed this without saving Chris. Because saving Chris is fairly easy. Saving Barry, uh, I mean, if we save Barry, what do we get from it? Uh, or if we let Barry die, what do we get from it? We get his gun. But, ladies and gentlemen, but, uh, we don't have him um, distracting the tyrant at the end of the game either. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, we've got plenty of time to decide. Now, getting the Mo Discs. Uh, why is that room still lit up? <laughs> That's perplexing. Did we leave an item in there? That room uh, on the east is lit up because we put the board over the fireplace, but we didn't light it. That room down there is lit up, I believe, because we didn't pick up the map. Did we get both of the eyes? We must have done. I'm sure we did. I'm sure we did. Is there dogs out here? I don't think so. Yeah, I think all the dogs are gone now. Well, uh, I'm not sure actually if they're all gone. I can't even remember. To be honest, uh, I'm pretty sure they are all gone. I'm not going to put money on it or anything. But fairly short. Sure. Right, let's go this way. Because this bit's actually quite a short bit, if memory serves. The... Look. Yeah, there's hunters out here from the sounds of it. 
No, that's a dog. Huh. Alright, well. Interesting. In the original game, once the hunters arrived, I'm pretty sure all the dogs disappeared. Um, possible exception of that is... Possible exception of that... Is when we go down here, where the waterway is. Uh, where the waterfall is, I should say. Now, we cleared the dogs out, if memory serves. Um, it feels like a lifetime ago. That I did. Ah, oh, you. Ah, we're not poisoned. Lo nope. Oh, come on. Yeah, we're poisoned now. That was ridiculous. These things suck. Now we're poisoned, and to be honest, I think we should have a do-over on that, because I don't know <laughs> where there's going to be more health. That was ridiculous, like, um, those snakes, maybe there's an actual way to do it, but from what I can understand from playing the game uh, myself, those snakes are unavoidable. I don't know. I mean, I've watched. I don't know if I've watched a no hit run of this, but I've watched some pretty good speed runs. But this is really bad now. This is really bad. I'm trying to think what we can possibly do here. Uh. Because we've. Okay, we're still on yellow, which is something, I guess. Um, yes, it certainly is necessary to use that here. Do we even... Nah, now we're on orange. Do we even have... Um... Blue herb? No. Would be the answer to that. I don't think we do. Uh, that's bad. That's kind of like the worst thing that can happen, <laughs> to be honest. But we'll, we'll roll with it. We'll see what happens. We'll roll with it. One of these dogs bites us. We're... Yes, of course, one of the dogs is going to bite us. Why wouldn't it? Because it would be too easy if it didn't. Yeah, we literally, there's no way getting health. There's no way to get healed. Unless there's herbs in here, which there could be. There could be. Uh, not going to hold my breath. And actually, uh, I read a comment from Blind Man saying, uh, it's not called Blind Man anymore, Reaver of Jewel Sandwiches, uh, mentioning. Right. The fact that this game is really devoid of color, like one criticism. Ah, oh, there is. Yeah, I thought there would be. One criticism of this game is it's totally devoid of colour. Uh, pretty much. And actually, you know, that's something that I haven't thought about, really. But it re I don't want to save it. Because the fact that we're poisoned is really bad. Okay. We need to find some health. Yeah, the fact that this game is like almost um, black and white. It's kind of really jarring now. Definitely never really thought about that, but it's true. Um, there's nothing in this hallway. Yeah, that's true. Let's keep on going. Let's go see our good old friends. Now, there was... There's a hangar magazine there. Do we even care about that? I mean, sure. Why not? There's usually something here in this puddle. But of course there is not now. I think sometimes there's a first aid spray over here, depending on the difficulty. There is obviously uh, not. In there is a healing item. Uh, not a healing item, a puzzle item. But we don't really need that right now. 
We're really badly poisoned now. We're really badly poisoned. Hmm. There is definitely blue is herbs here you, somewhere. Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah. You're alive. Stop. Are you with anybody, Jill? No. But why? <sighs> the stars are finished. Someone is a traitor. Umbrella set us up. <laughs> Enrico! Enrico! Traitor? Who? Hmm. I wonder, Jill. I wonder. Okay, well, let's take Enrico's crank. Whoever did this is definitely a professional. Uh, why? It wasn't even a headshot, Jill. Wait, he's holding something. He's holding the crank, yeah. Um, he doesn't have anything else. Right, we need to run because a hunter's going to spawn in here. But he's, like, really easy to avoid. And as we never have to come back in here again, we're not going to worry about him. Uh... Now, there's two hunters in here. No, there isn't. There's two hunters in the next corridor, which is a problem. Still no sign of healing. You know, those snakes, they're really bad. Like, I mean, uh, have I just... Yes, I've just gone around in a circle. They're really bad. Like, that is unfortunate. I mean, you'd expect maybe to get bit once and have, like, a chance of getting poisonous, but three times in a row in an unavoidable situation. This is the one that I'm concerned about. But we're just going to run past them because fuck those guys. We do have to come back there, but if we're lucky, we can run past them again. I'm trying to think, like, the thing is, everywhere that we have to, like, every option we have to escape uh, isn't really a good option. Uh, we should actually have blue herbs down here, because obviously black tiger's down here, but we are going to cross that bridge in another video. So, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, until next time.